today so here this problem we have to find the we are given a bar which is uh, loaded at a point p uh, one end of the bar is uh, fixed completely fixed or uh, yeah it is completely fixed and the other end is hinged and hinged support which is on a roller so we have to find the support reaction at the hinge support okay so obviously we can see that in this problem we have uh, in this built up edge we have if we draw support reactions we have these three things and a moment so if we can calculate it okay this is one this is two this is three there are four unknowns okay and with uh, for any two-dimensional static problem the number of equations that we have is sigma f is equal to zero and sigma m is equal to zero okay. these are here we have two equations and this is one so we have three equations and four unknowns so this is a statically indeterminate problem so to find the support reaction here is a bit difficult okay so we follow we'll use Mikusa of uh, Maxwell's reciprocal theorem that's why we'll make use of uh, Cassegliano's first theorem to solve this okay so um, the first step is we draw the free model diagram so we remove this support and replace it with the support uh, with the reaction i have represented the reaction as r yeah obviously as we have rollers it's not uh, restricted to there is no restriction for it to move in this direction so we don't have any reaction in this direction so um, i have divided the bar into two so first this section will be uh, the support reaction is still almost near to this point support reaction or moment is would be given by r to x and support reaction is obviously r if we draw the uh, shear force diagram and after in this sec section a at, a point, at any distance this is b if, we, if i consider this distance to x if i consider this distance to x, to x so if i um, find the moment at this point we will have r into b plus x minus b into f is equal to angular. This is the equation for strain energy. Substitute it in terms of a. Uh, I, again, I divide the limits 0 to b, 0 to a. In this perspective region, I apply the limits, integrate it. Here, I have grouped the x terms. Uh, we have r minus b into x and r into b. So we will be left with this thing. So this is the total strain. Pardon my handwriting. So this is the total. We get something like this. So this is obviously this is R squared B plus B I. So you are or you total. So next we have to find the deflection at point R. So we obviously know that the point R is fixed. There should be no deflection. Or uh, this point is fixed. So there should be no deflection. So we just try to find out the deflection at the point R, then we'll set it to zero. The subtraction r so mm, u total by r we will uh, differentiate with respect to r so we, we can see that we have r square here r square here we have also we have an r square which is 100 so we can obviously differentiate this equation and we will get this equation and after differentiating we set it to zero so if we set it to zero we'll get r in terms of b so 
that's a we get the support reaction that will keep the point r uh, w deflection obviously there will be no deflection point r that's it try it once 